Well, hi. How's it going, everybody? We're back in Spaceborne 2, and this is patch 2.0.2. Uh, we have a new thing called AI Module. Um, the AI is named Eve, E-V-E. -E. Uh, probably not anything related to Eve Online. Um, and she is what is called Narrow Artificial Intelligence. Essentially, she knows what she's been programmed to know, and she knows nothing else. I can't ask her what the weather's like in Houston, Texas. She's not going to know. I can't ask her... Uh, how many units she thinks Diablo 4 is going to sell on Tuesday, she doesn't know. She only knows this game and only what the developer has given her the answers for. Um, it is experimental. The developer has stated, I believe it was three separate sentences, that she does not know um, or can't do many actions. She's mostly for information. And the information she is actually for is this. Basically, she can tell you all of these things, all these videos that we have here. After docking a station, you she can pretty much tell you those. Now, you go in here, you go to settings, you're going to come to inputs, make sure you're on ship, scroll all the way to the bottom, video or voice command. Currently, it's the F button. I don't love that it's the F button, but whatever, you can remap it if you want. Uh, hold and talk to activate, release to finish. Uh, it doesn't work really well. Sometimes it works great, sometimes it doesn't work well at all. So let's see what we can do here. Eve. Eve, respond. Wow, not responding at all. Let's try going here. Eve. Man, what is going on? Eve, are you there? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I got this to work. I spent like four hours on this today trying to figure out all the things she could and couldn't do. And uh, she can't undock your ship, but I'm trying to get her. I'm trying to show you what, what happens when you do a command that she can't do. Eve, are you there? Hello, Eve. What the hell? Let me reset the... F. Okay. Resume. Hello, Eve. Hello there. How can I help now you? Now she pays attention. Undock my ship. And now she doesn't say anything again. It's really experimental. God, this, I'm just gonna dock. Landing gear attracted. All right, she can actually do that. Eve, deploy landing gear. Landing gear deployed. Retract landing gear. Landing gear retracted. But she can't land you. So no matter how many times you say to land or dock or any. Any wordage you can think of, she can't do it. Um, in fact, some of the few things she can do is uh, deploy and retract your landing gear, deploy and retract your weapons. What else did I write down here that I find? She can call Alpha Squad. Someone did get Alpha Squad to go away. I was not able to, uh, but she can't command anything. And then everything else, all she can do is answer questions. So, deploy weapons. Retract weapons. So she can do all that. Um, you can see, if you look, let me put this here. If you look right up here at this very top in the center, you can see it stating what I'm, it, it types out what I'm saying. I can guess that people with different accents um, or ones that either he hasn't programmed the language or English isn't their first language and they're trying to say it in English. I can imagine sometimes it has some problems, so we'll kind of see how the, all that works. Um, let's see if she can pull maps up. I did not actually try that before. Load the system map. System map. 
galaxy map. Okay, so she can turn on the galaxy map. Um, I wonder what I would call the system map then. We'll see how we would exit. Exit map. I don't hear it talking at all, so I'll have to escape to do that. So we're going to write that down. She can enter galaxy map. What would we call the system? So it is just system map. Let me just say map, see what happens. Map. She doesn't understand map. Sure. To view the galaxy map, you must first open the galaxy this. atlas. You can open the galaxy atlas by pressing the M key default. Here you can view the solar systems in the galaxy, set routes and more. That's what I mean by she is more of an informational AI at this moment in time. She is really a tutorial, uh, an audio tutorial interface. Um, she is stuck on missions, so if I pull up, okay, right now I'm on this. Here, let's put it on vessel venture, for example. Track this. Um, uh, oh, it won't let me track it. Retribution will let me track that. There you go. So I'm tracking this retribution right now. Let's see what happens when I ask her about it. Explain my mission. Your current mission is to save Anka from the Morha Raiders. Yeah, you she's must stuck wait on this. until the raid is ready and then board your ship with your crew. You will need to use your weapons to fight off the Raiders and protect Anka. Once you have freed Anka, you must then escort her safely back to the Ra base. Good luck. Now, I'm curious, as I haven't done this since this came out, if you, as the player, with Eve active, go through, you know, save Anka go past that, get to the point that you uh, get Moliax to uh, join you, save Momo, and all that, will she then change where she is at? Is she stuck on just storyline, or will she also help you with any of your current missions? Because she doesn't understand. Why are they all tracks now? That's so weird. Um, let's see. I didn't see if she could open up cargo or anything. Open cargo menu. Cargo bay. Open cargo bay. You. I'm here to help you in your mission. There you go. I provide guidance, information, and even entertaining conversations. I can help you navigate through the various systems, provide she can't. insights, <laughs> hints, and interact with the various locations such as cities. Villages, caves, outposts, and secrets found throughout the galaxy. I have found no evidence that she can do any of that. Um, she cannot set a, a waypoint either. Set route for Stargate? Sure. To use Stargates, you must first have a registered route for this. First open the Galaxy Atlas, select a system, and press set route. Then close the Galaxy Atlas. Press H, default, to activate the cursor. Select the Stargate from the list in the right corner and <laughs> ask permission to use the Stargate. When your permission is approved, a path will be drawn for you. When you follow this path to the end, Stargate sends you to the next system on the route. So you can see that... Uh, you can see that it's... specifically more informational. Um, let's try this. Call Alpha Squad. All right, so Alpha Squad just showed up. Now let's see if I can get them to go away. I'm trying to think of the exact words he used. Because Alpha Squad Warp Away is the command we actually give. It's the voice command we give. Alpha Squad Warp Away. You can see it up there. Nothing happens. Alpha Squad Leave. That. So Alpha Squad Leave made them go away. But Alpha Squad Warp Away, which is what the commander's son, what uh, the commander's child, what you actually say verbally, doesn't work. Uh, perks also don't work. Deploy drones. Use stabilizer. Sure. To use the stabilizer, and she just you goes must on first with this. activate the stabilizer with the S key default. This will allow you to slow down your ship's movement and increase your accuracy. 
She also cannot... So, here, let's put out the drones. So, we have drones out. This ship has uh, five drones, I think. Um, and you see we have the drone menu down here. <coughs> right there. Uh, let's see if she can do anything with it. I was not able to get her, but let's see if we change some verbiage. Set drones to attack formation. Drones attack. Attack. I don't see him changing at all. I'm sorry. I cannot assist you in attacking other factions. My programming <laughs> is to help you navigate the galaxy, provide guidance, and offer insights. That's I suggest you find other players that may be able to help you with the attack. Well, why is she saying other players to help me with the attack? Do you, uh, Barack Tabak has made it crystal clear this will be a single player game only. That's an interesting comment she made. Um, drones return. Sure. To recall the drones. Press See, she the doesn't. F key default. Yeah. The drones will then return to the ship and you can drones continue success. your journey. So, that doesn't work either. Um, okay, so I'll show you. We'll go. We'll, We'll go even far here. So, let's see if I can get her to send me into war. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. Initiate warp. Warp. Warp to Stargate. Eve, move my ship. She doesn't want to do anything. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to manual orb over there. The there's a reason I want to show you. Um, she will also not target anything. Where she said, oh, I can't help you with fighting. She literally won't even target anything. And there was no ships beside that. I was at the Freelancers Guild. Alright, so we've got some ships here. Do we have a commander? Let's see if we've got a commander. We have a commander. Alright, let's see what happens. Target commander. Sure. You can target the commander by go. activating the cursor. Default. So she H. definitely heard me. She definitely understood. By but she can't do it. In the top right menu. Then lock the target with the lock key. Default mum. You will then be able default to fire the weapons on the target. <laughs> Middle mouse <commander>. button. <laughs> Galaxy map. Oh, she didn't respond that time. Pull up the map. Sure. To pull up the map, press wow. M key default. This oh, will I open have some up the galaxy here. map, uh, which you can use to navigate to different star systems something. and explore the universe. So for Stargate, it would be called jump to the next route. Jump to the next route. Here, let's go this far. Approach to the jump point to start jump process. Approach to the jump point. She can't do any any portion of this. Um, what she can do is answer some questions. So, not the map, this map. So, what do we got here? Nagua 860. Eve, tell me about the planet Nagua 860. See if she can do this. Tell me about the planets in the system. Sure. The Chekyu star system contains three planets. Sorix 048, Nagua 86Q, and Zade 01W. Sorix 048 is a habitable planet, while Nagua 86Q and Zade 01W are gas giants. Each planet has unique features and points of interest. Sorix 048 has diverse terrain, caves, and cities, while Nagua 86Q has a variety of structures and outposts, and Zade 01W has secrets hidden among its clouds. Uh, she just said these two are a gas giant. She said there's structures on the gas giant's surface. 
And then this one, Zaid, she said there's secrets hidden in the clouds. This is another comment that makes me wonder, is there stuff coming in the future that we don't know about yet? Why would there be... We can't land on a gas giant. You can't warp into it. So why would there be uh, stuff hidden amongst the clouds? Unless this is part of... He did say that she will tell lies sometimes. I wonder if this is part of it. All right, so what about this? Tell me about the star of this solar system. How else would I say that? Tell me about the sun. Uh, tell me about Chick Yu's star. Chick star is a star system located in the outer regions of the galaxy. <laughs> it was discovered by the explorer Chick in the 21st century. The star system is composed of three habitable planets and two gas giants. It is home to multiple species, including the Falren, Morthra, and Tegan races. The star system is also known for its abundance of resources, making it a popular destination for those looking to mine or explore the unknown. That's an interesting response. Tell me about the Freelancers Guild. The Freelancers Guild is a guild for pilots. Joining the guild gives access to the Looking for Pilot system, which allows pilots to find and take on contracts from different factions in the galaxy. It also provides access to exclusive ships, weapons, and other upgrades. The guild also provides a range of services, such as repairs, refueling, and upgrades. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. Tell me about DBK Games. She might have heard me because of the noise the thrusters are making. Um, how else would I word that? What is DBK Games? Deck Games is an independent gaming studio that specializes in creating immersive and story-driven games. They are most known for their game Spaceburn 2, which is a space exploration game that offers a vast universe with tens of thousands of unique solar systems to explore. There's not tens of thousands of solar systems. What the hell? We, that's weird, too, because um, when I asked earlier, um, she actually told me about their um, they have like a kind of like a first person shooter too that he's done besides the original Spaceborn something like that uh, what else can we ask her tell me about Barack De oh yeah I'm not in my ship derp oh get back in the ship what is going on uh, I can't get my ship. What the hell's happening? What is going on? Okay. Let's... <laughs> I don't know what's going on. She de definitely does not work. Oh, weird. I think having it map to the F button. This is the button we used to interact. is a bad idea. It seems to have... seems to have locked me out. I can't do anything. Okay, hang on a second. Settings. Oh, character! Where does he even have interact? Unless it's, this is shared, probably shared. Interact. It, my interact button got hosed. Wonder if it's still over here. If I do that, that's could be a problem. 
That's a problem. Oh, I wonder if he knows about that. So, ship voice command, if you have that set to F... Oh, that is a real problem. We can't be having to change that back and forth every time. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to have to find a new button for, uh... I'm trying to think of what we don't use. Hmm, that's a good question. I'm going to have to figure something out. Because, uh, that's a problem. Okay, so now I can get my ship. Eve? Yep, that's, that's a problem. Well, okay, so we found an issue. The F button as default being set that, that actually, that might be the reason some people are having a problem um, with their, when, when they ask, well, I don't know how to get it to work. Well, that might be it, because it might be uh, defaulting the F and changing it back and forth depending on how you use it. All right, well, that's a, a not too short of a video, but that's that's a little video about how this kind of sort of works. It is really more just information at this time. She can't do much. Um, I'm curious to find out, will she be able to do more as she's with us and we play the game and you play the game and everybody other else plays the game and then she pulls all those resources together to learn? I don't know. Is it just straight up, she has a list of questions with a list of answers, and that's all she knows, and that's all she ever will? I don't know. Well, I guess we'll find out in coming times. Thanks for watching, guys.